Hey, I'm Flowey, Flowey KOBK, and welcome to 16 Personalities. I thought I would try this out because people have been trying this out lately and it's supposedly very accurate and I'm kind of curious to know who I am. So let's do this. It's called the 16 Personalities Test and it splits your personality into like four different categories and then from there for into those. So let's just see how this goes. So. It takes less than 12 minutes. Answer honestly, even if you don't like the answer. Try not to leave any neutral answers. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people, so you can either agree or you can disagree. Um, me, I kind of agree with that statement. I'm not really usually one to go up to somebody and be like, "Hey, I'm Melissa. How you doing?" <laughs> That's not who I am. So I kind of agree with that one. Okay, you often get so lost in thoughts you ignore or forget your surroundings. I don't know about that, but I do kind of get distracted easily. I do like to daydream a lot. I don't ignore or forget my surroundings, but I'm kind of like, you know, it, it, it's, I do think a lot. I get lost in thought a lot, so I'm going to kind of agree with that one. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stay in a messy inbox. That's definitely me. Or I just get lots of spam and I'm just like, no, I need to delete them almost immediately because I can't stand having... First of all, the messy inbox, and then there's just a notification that's just sitting in my dashboard on my computer or on my um, phone when I open it. It's just driving me nuts, so I just clear them out as soon as I possibly can. You find it easy to stay relaxed and focused even when there is some pressure. That's I disagree with that one. Um, I do get stressed out pretty easily. Um, I try not to, but I do. It happens to me. You do not usually initiate conversations. Yeah, I can agree with that one. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. I disagree with that one. I highly disagree with that one. Alright, let's see. What's next? You feel superior to other people. No. Not at all. Um, if anything, I feel kind of like, uh, am I good enough? <laughs> being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Um, no, not necessarily. Like, I, I just try to say organized, but my room right now is actually in shambles. I'm going to clean it tonight, but... I'm not very organized, but I'm not disorganized either. It's not really necessarily more important to me than being adaptable, but it is something I try to keep, I guess. I don't know. Um, you're usually highly motivated to energetic. No, not really. <laughs> I know, shocker, right? <laughs> uh, winning a debate means matters less to you than making sure that no one gets upset. Yeah. Well, more middle of the road, actually, depending on what the debate is about. If it's about something more serious and it's about something that I'm really passionate about and that I really like, I want, it's not really, I don't want to win it, but I, I want to get my point across and say, hey, this is what I believe and it's not going to change. I'm sorry if it upsets you, but if it's something I believe strongly in, then yeah, but at the same time, I don't want anyone to get upset. I'm not that person to be a, a, just a total jerk and be like, I win all the time, so I'm going to kind of go middle of the road there. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Um, yeah, I guess so. I feel like sometimes I gotta tell people what I really mean because I feel like maybe I've come across as something that I don't mean to come across as, and that's just what happens. You, Your home and work environments are quite tight. Usually, yeah, right now though, my room, again, my room is in shambles, so I need to clean it up and tidy it up. Alright, next. Um, you don't mind being the center of attention. I don't mind it, but I don't try to be it. So, sure, okay. You consider yourself more practical than cre- no. I highly disagree with that one. <laughs> I'm way more creative than practical. Like, I, I love being creative and thinking out to the box and trying new things. People can rarely upset you. Um, most of the time, but sometimes I can get down pretty easily. Um, especially with what I have, you know, depression can kind of get to you. Like, people can get to you sometimes, but... Most of the time, that as far as like upset, like sad or angry, that's what I'm trying to think. Because I don't get angry very often. I get sad more than I get angry. So upset, if it means angry, then people rarely get me angry. Yeah, that's probably true. But if people get me sad, that's more I kind of disagree. So I'm kind of middle road with her. I'm actually gonna quit middle road because I don't know about that one. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Um, I don't really travel a lot. When I do, I kind of have a sense of where I'm going. So yeah, I'd say so. It's often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Disagree. I have this thing, like almost like a, it's almost like a superpower where I can kind of tell how people feel by just their body language or how they look or just how they talk. I can kind of tell how they really feel. 
it's really weird and it's almost, it's almost like a curse because i can tell when someone's like really not interested in talking to me or they really don't care and i'm trying to like tell them something and they i can tell that they don't really don't give a crap i'm like okay they don't want to hear it so i kind of just stop <laughs> call that either a freaking my superpower or b anxiety i don't know your mood can change very quickly um yeah actually it can I could have like a really great day and then come home later that evening and just be really upset for almost no reason. And it's kind of weird. Again, it's probably another depression thing. But I don't know. Um, in, dis- in a discussion, truth, be sh- more- truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Again, it's more of a case of what you're talking about. I mean, the truth is important, but I really like, I don't like hurting people's feelings at all. So I'm going like, to slightly disagree with that one. You rarely worry about how your f- actions affect other people. Disagree. I tend to worry about that a lot actually um your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized pro approach i slightly disagree with that one because i do even though i am creative and i like to like flip off the box and try new things i still if i'm working if i'm doing something that's important i try to stay organized and i try to keep it organized um you're often envious of others um not necessarily envious I'm kind of like, I'm choosing like all the middle road ones. I'm not necessarily envious. I do, sometimes I kind of wish I had a better and more practical outlook on stuff and I was able to like look at my stuff and what I have in my own life and not have to worry about other people's things. But at the same time, I'm not like always like jealous of what other people have. I try to appreciate what I have and it's just a bit harder to do sometimes. So I'm not, I guess I'm not really often envious. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. I agree with that one. <laughs> 100% I hate parties. I mean, I, I love the food. I love the music. I love to just to have fun, but people scare me. <laughs> um, being able to d- develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. No, I don't think so. Not necessarily, no. Every project, no. Some important projects, yes, but not every project, no. You can rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Disagree. I, I, oh, I carried away. He, he keeps using really strong words here in this quiz. Carried away is a big strong word. I don't get carried away, but I do tend to think big and kind of get exaggerated a bit by things I really want to do that I know are probably not going to happen. You often get lost in thought when you're walking in nature. Uh, yeah. I can agree with that one. Or I just sit there and I just like look at nature and I'm just like, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, because nature helps me like just process things. I just love being out in the wilderness and in like the forests or out at parks and just kind of walk and just ah, just relax and let my thoughts flow through me. It's nice. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. I don't really use email, but if that is the case and I'm talking to somebody, I could, yeah. Um, if, as a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. Yeah, I, I think so. Because if you're a smart person, but you're just a jerk to everybody, then what's the point in your intelligence? Like, you're just, I mean, if you're kind, as a parent, you want your child to succeed in life. So you might be inclined to think the other way, like, if my child's smart, they can go really far in life and do great things, but they'll be really lonely and sad if you're you're just a jerk to everybody and they're intelligent. If they're kind, they can always find something more, you know, they can still be successful and kinder or more simple simple endeavors. So I think it'd be better to my child be kind and smart. You do not let other people's, you do not let other people influence your actions. Most of the time, yeah, I can agree with that. But sometimes it does kind of get to me when people tell me that I shouldn't be doing something that I really want to do. Um, your dreams tend to focus on real world and its events. Um, yes and no, I guess. I'm, I like I said, I'm very creative. I very, I like to think outside the box. Um, it does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Um, again, social stuff just makes me nervous. You're more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Yeah, that's me. Um, your emotions control you more than you control them. Oh god. <laughs> this all sounds so sad, but yeah, that's kind of me too. You enjoy going to social events and, well, they involve dress up or role play activities. See, that's more fun though. 
because you don't have to be yourself you can be the person you're being so that would be more fun i wouldn't feel so awkward then or feel so scared because i could just be whoever i wanted to be i wouldn't have to be this shy like nerdy youtube girl who's <laughs> nobody cares about i could dress up and be who i wanted to be and that'd be fun i actually think that might be fun i've never actually done it before but i think that'd be a lot of fun to do you often have spending time you often spend time exploring unrealistic, impractical, yet intriguing ideas. Yeah. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detail plan. Yeah. That's me. You are a relatively reserved and quiet person. Yeah, that's me. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. See, again, there's that fine line between, like, what's important and what's, like, feels right or what feels good because I don't want to be a bad person <laughs> uh, if I had a business well, I ha it's to the good of everybody else though too like I don't want anyone else to suffer because of one person so I'm gonna have to go middle of the road there well I would find it difficult but I'd have to do it actually so I'd probably agree more than I disagree you often contemplate the reasons for human existence yeah, actually, even as a Christian, I do. I still, I know that, or I believe that God made the universe and everything, but I still, I, kinda, I gotta think about it. I'm just like, why would he do that? Like, why were we here? Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Yeah, when it comes to making important decisions, logic is usually more important. When it comes to just fun and, you know, go doing something nice and creative, it's not exactly as important. But if it's important decisions, then yeah, it's probably more important. Um, keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Um, yeah, I'd say that. I mean, it's nice to write things down and know what you're supposed to do, but keeping what you- keeping- being flexible is always a good thing, because you never know what could happen. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Oh, man. Um. Well, um, I do this a lot. I like to do this a lot, actually. I like to talk to people who are having issues and struggling and just try to help them. And usually, yeah, I'm more the person to just try to like make them feel better during that time. And then later on, I'll probably tell them, hey, we could do this and do this. So I guess I can kind of agree with that. But then again, I still want to be able to help them with their problem afterwards, you know? Okay, next one. You rarely feel insecure. That's, no, I disagree with that one. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. A personal timetable being, like, my own schedule? Um, yeah, I have my own personal schedule. I, c I can stick to it. That's fine. It's hard to stay motivated some days to do it, but I can still stick to it if I need to. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to te No, I disagree with that one. You think that everyone's views should be respected in regard regardless of whether or not they are supported by facts or not. Again, I still want to respect everybody, but if there's nothing to back them up, if they're just blatantly... <sighs> if they had said, you think that everyone should be respected, regardless of whether or not they're supported by facts, I would have said yes, because everyone should be respected, but everyone's views... So there's a difference between accepting something and respecting something. Accepting it is saying, yeah, I agree with this, that's good. And respecting it says that, okay, that's fine. You can think what you want to think. So actually, yes, I, I agree with that. Even if they don't only really have thoughts or, or facts to support them, I can still respect what they believe. It's their belief. I'm not going to, like, tell them what to believe. But I, I don't accept it as my own belief. I have my own beliefs. But I still respect them as a person. And I just respect what they believe because that's what their heart is and where their heart is. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. No. You frequently misplace your things. Um, yeah. <laughs> you see yourself as very emotionally stable. Uh, not necessarily, no. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Yeah, that's me. You would not call yourself a dreamer. No. You f usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Yeah. <laughs> Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. No, not necessarily. You worry too much about what people think. Yeah, probably. This is sad, almost. <laughs> if the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Um. 
That's what I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, I would say that. I don't, because when people gather near the center, they don't usually gather near the walls. And I want to, if I need to, I need to get a way out. That's where I, that's how I find a way out. Because doors aren't in the middle of the room, they're on the walls. If you have a tendency to procrastinate, you have a tendency to, you have a tendency to procrastinate until there is not enough time to do everything. Yeah. <laughs> you feel very anxious in stressful situations. Yeah. You believe that it's more rewarding to be liked by others than be to be powerful. Um. Again, this is like, these are really tricky questions. I'm trying to answer them honestly, but at the same time. Um. To be liked by others than to be powerful. Yeah, I guess so. Because I want to be like, I want to be a nice person. I want to be people, I want to be somebody that people would enjoy being around rather than just be a narcissistic jerk who has everything you know i don't want to be this snobby rich person that's what i always say on youtube too is i don't, i would love to be, for this to be my job like i would love to do this as my job like that would be freaking amazing but i wouldn't i don't want to be that person on youtube who becomes like so like egotistical and just like flat out like look at me i am the best thing that ever happened to the internet kind of person and screw all you guys that's why i always answer my comments and that's why i I try to keep things going and be nice and as genuine as possible in here. You've always been interested in unconventional, ambiguous things in books, arts, or movies. Yes. You often take you often initi yeah. you often take initiative in social situ situations. No. Is that it? I think that's it actually. I'm a mediator. Okay. I am 23% extroverted, and I am 77% introverted. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, energy. Um, initiative and thinking, yeah. And observant is 26. Alright, so I think more than I observe. Cool. Um, nature. Thinking in nature. Okay. Feeling, so I, I don't- I'm not very logic, I'm more of a feeler. That makes sense too. Tactics. Uh, judging and pros prospecting. Very interesting. Identity. Assertive and turbulent. I'm 40% assertive? Okay. Let's start reading this. Mediator personality. I-N-F-P-A-T. The mediator. Mediator personalities are true idealists, always looking for the hint of good even in the worst of people and events, searching for ways to make things better. While they may be perceived as calm and reserved or even shy, mediators have an inner flame and passion that it can truly shine. Compromising of just 4% of the population, the risk of feeling misunderstood is unfortunately high with the mediator personality type. When they feel like minded people to share when they find like minded people to share their time with, the harmony they feel between them will be a fountain of joy and inspiration. Yeah, that's me. Being a part of the diplomat role group, mediators are guided by their principles rather than by logic analysts. Excitement explorers or um, practically sentinels. When deciding how to move forward, they will look to honor, beauty, morality, and virtue. Mediators are led by their pure purity of intent, not rewards and punishments. People who share the mediator personality type are proud of this quality, and rightly so, but not everyone understands the drive behind those feelings, and it can lead to isolation. All this gold does not glitter, but not all this wonder or loss. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. Huh, I like that quote. J.R. Tolkien. Cool. We know who we are, but we may not know who we be. At their best, these qualities enable mediators to communicate deeply with others, easily speaking metaphors and parables, yep, and understanding and creating symbols to share their and their ideas. Fantasy worlds, in particular, fascinate mediators more than anything any other personality type. Their strength of their visionary communication skill style lends itself well to creative works. And it comes as no surprise that many famous mediators are poets, writers, and actors. Hey! Yeah! That's awesome! That's what I love! I love all three of those things. Understanding themselves and their place in the world is important to mediators, and they explore these ideas by pro projecting themselves into their work. Mediators have a talent for self-expression, revealing, the revealing their beauty and their secrets through metaphors and fictional characters. Yes! Mediator's ability with language doesn't stop with their native tongue either, as with most people who share the diplomat personality types, they are considered gifted when it comes to learning a second language or a third. Their gift for communication also tends to lead itself well into mediator's desire for harmony, a recurring theme with diplomats, and helps them to move forward as they find their calling. Interesting. They listen to many people but talk to very few. Unlike their extroverted cousins, though, 
Sorry, that was a car. That was loud. Mediators fill focus with their attention on just a few people. A single worthy cause spread too thinly that run out of energy and become even re dejected and overwhelmed by all the bad in the world they can't fix. This is a sad sight for mediators' friends who will come to depend on their rosy outlook. If they're not too careful, if they are not careful, mediators can lose themselves in their quest for good and neglect the day-to-day -day unkeep that life demands. Mediators often drift into deep thought, enjoying and contemplating the hip hip hypothetical and physiolog- Oh my gosh, I can't read these words. Philosophical more than any other personality type. Left unchecked, mediators may start to lose touch, withdrawing to into hermit mode. So sad. <laughs> and it can take a great deal of energy from their friends or partner to bring them back to real life world. Luckily, like the flowers in the spring, mediators' affection, creativity, altruism, and idealism will always come back, rewarding them and those they love, perhaps not with logic and utility, but with a worldview that inspires compassion, kindness, and beauty wherever they go. Huh. William Shakespeare, R. Tolkien, I don't know who that is. Johnny Depp! <laughs> should I go on? I think I should. I'm not going to read all of it. I'll let you guys read if you want to, but I'm getting tired of reading. <laughs> I'll read in my head. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll come to admire them. Independent optimism. Yeah. Exactly. Yep, that's me. This is all me. I love. Okay, they just like being constrained by rules. Yep, very creative. That's me right there. Just gonna highlight that a few times. That's me. <laughs> Mirrors combine their visionary with nature, with their open mindedness to help them see things from unconventional perspectives. Being able to connect. It's no wonder how many years are celebrated poets or authors. Yay. Passionate and energetic. Okay, dedicated and hardworking. Cool. Nice. I'm too idealistic. Well, <laughs> too altruistic. Aw. Impractical, yeah. Oh, no, that's not me right there. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Romantic relationships. All right. We are relationships. Really? Okay, this is the role of the normal person I feel. This is interesting. Yep, that's uh, me. A few people in their lives. That means they'll approach new relationships wholeheartedly with a sense of inherent value, dedication, and trust. Oh, there's a whole freaking thing up here. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna read all of these. Um. This is cool, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll through this very slowly and just let you guys read it if you want to, but that's a lot to read in the video. <laughs> it's already been 23 minutes. Friendships. Okay. Yeah, I'll just scroll through this so you can see this. This is all very, very, um, accurate, though. <laughs> Parenthood. Again, I'm just scrolling through this. I'll probably read this later. I'll probably have it emailed to me and read it by myself later. But this really accurately describes me. This is very cool. I like this a lot. This is a very interesting um, quiz. It's very accurate. Like, very, very accurate. Scary accurate. I'm sorry I'm scrolling through so fast now. Again, I'm just letting you guys, if you want to read it, you're more than welcome to. If you want to pause it. I just want to get through it now and read it later by myself so I don't have to read it all. Because if I read it out loud, it would take me forever to do. And I'm terrible reading things out loud. 
Oh my gosh, but seriously, wow. And conclusion. Here it is. Oh, that's cute. I saw the first line. I'm actually reading this one. This is really sweet. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, this is so accurate. It's really creepy. Uh, wow. <laughs> cool. I'm not gonna go there because I think I will probably cost money, but that's really cool. That's extremely, extremely accurate. But that's definitely who I am as a person. I'm stretching because my back hurts. Ow. Okay, that felt bad. Okay. Anyway, but that was it. That was the 16 personalities quiz. And that is just scary good. <laughs> um, and now I know. I am a mediator. I am an INFP. That's very cool. Nice. So, uh... That's going to be it for this video, but thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay determined. Like a boss! Love, Flowey, your very best friend. Bye! I always push the wrong button when I'm doing this, and I can never turn off my camera. <laughs>